Right, uh, I bought this Gunterwolf Brazisa, or however it's pronounced, uh, off of eBay probably about three weeks ago, and uh, took the usual gamble because uh, uh, it was a long way to travel, and uh, competition was quite fierce for it. So if you were the underbidder, this is what uh, here's the heartache that you saved yourself. The um, Pictures always look better. But uh, the the risk was I didn't know the machine, although I've got a a Duramat. Um, I could see from the photograph that the mechanism was quite different. But I was pleased that the um, the mirrored front was intact and that the uh, instruction leaflet on the front was uh, quite nicely done. The case wasn't too bad, but um, did have evidence of woodworm, if you can see it, and obviously splits in it. And of course it suffered from the, uh, the usual Gunter Wolf problem of not having a, a backboard in it, uh, because they'd lost the keys, so they'd gone in through the back. Uh, so I've still got that uh, that issue to um, to have a look at. The um, The mechanism, um, was nothing like you'd expect with a uh, from a, a Gunter Wolf either Bandit or, or Duo Mat. And on this particular one, ugh, I couldn't try it when I bought it because the whole of the mechanism was seized solid. Um, it's been converted from Fennig to uh, to the old Penny, but not too much butchery done. We've got uh, a little bit cut out there to take the to allow the uh, the old pennies to to overflow out of it and um the slides um obviously been altered and the the, the coin payout sh uh, chute is a, a quite well made one it's it's been uh, soldered and it's it's firmly in place so uh, so that's good but the particular frustration with this one was that everything that you can see here was solid um the clock governor I had to soak in diesel to free it up and literally every single lever, axle, bearing, the reels, everything um, I had to strip right down, clean out and um, uh, tease it and ease it back into, um, back into working. But still we're there now so let's, uh, let's see it being played. The game is quite simple, it's three spinning reels which stop one after the other and uh, the only bit of control that you do have in addition is um, the starter button which affects the first reel, uh, kicks it back into action again but um, interestingly it only does it for a limited period of time so long as the second reel is spinning you can restart the first one so we'll let that one stop and decide we don't like one press the button and it kicks it again oh now we get another one uh, we're going to get a third one now are we no. uh, yes we did oh so that, that would have been a good payout that would have been maximum yeah typical uh, oh. oh yeah three one one yep that's uh one two Three, four. I'm still learning what all the payouts on it are. If, however, I let it go past the point of the second reel stopping, you'll then see that the starter doesn't work. And I'll show you how it operates because it's quite uh, quite clever. Right, if I press it now, nothing happens. See, I can't I can't restart the first. So, how does that work? Oh. Toppence for a two. That's what we've got there. Well, here's the back of the button. And when you press, press the button in, uh, it tilts that down. And there's a rod there going up. If we follow that rod to the top, 
you see that it's connected to nothing at all. But that there, just to the right of it, is the significant piece. And this whole rod travels sideways. When you start the machine, it, it moves over to there. And then as the cycle continues, it rolls back. And so long as it's underneath that bit there, it will re-kick the reel. But as soon as it gets past it, it stops. So I'll show you that. See it move there? Now it's here. And it's still in line. It's still in line. You can still restart the first reel. But then suddenly it gets past it. Clever. Oh, another two. The interesting thing is that there are parts of this machine that we'd recognise from either a Gunter Wolf Bandit or the Duramat, but they don't actually do what we would expect them to do. Um, here's a case in hand. This rod here, most of us would probably recognise as being the, the rod that lifts up and releases the bundle of slides, takes the brake off of all of them uh, at the very end. So this rod at the back here uh, rises uh, to, to dictate how many slides will be released and then this one comes up, takes the brake off them all and away they go. But not on this machine, nope. The release of, of the bundle is done by this lever here. You see it's got a step in it, and what happens is, as I wind it up, you see it reset itself, and it will jump down, click, click, and there we go. And then as the cycle runs, this axle here comes along and lifts that, thereby taking it off the steps and it will shoot to the right as it does it. Click, click and it paid out. So going back to here, what does this do? Because that's that that is what would be controlling that on a Gunter Wolf Bandit or, um, or a Duramat. So if we follow it to the top we find that what it's doing is it's operating the pin that stops another coin being put in. Surprising. So this machine's easy to be fooled by. The, likewise, the operation which um, kicks the, um, the winning detection sequence into play is this lever down the back here. Again, works off of a cam here, which pushes it out of the way. It's, uh, it really is a clockwork motor in, in the truest um, sense of the word. So, anyway, there she is, all working now, working fine. I'm still discovering what all the payouts are, because having um, having had the slides screwed up together, it uh, they, they changed the uh, um, they changed the note on the front. So I'm still finding out what, what they all are, and we'll we'll uh, rewrite that. And the time comes. A nice addition to the collection. Hope you liked it.